out to a doctor's appointment and so I thank everyone for being here and coming back to my channel thanks to each and every one of you and my family members friends and those just peeking in to watch for the first time I sincerely appreciate y'all for being here to watch and enjoy my latest video and to go with me on this journey so sit back and enjoy the ride Way. we had the detour and detour and detour because these people been in the neighborhood digging in backyards putting up more PGE pipes and my bill was like $75 higher so I'm paying for my own pipes and maybe my neighbors so the price hike that PGE voted for and got should be on your bill i can't imagine people that have bills seven and eight hundred dollars so i'm assuming your bill is now a thousand dollars for energy that's two house payments terrible world we live in we're living in the last of the last of the last days. If any of y'all here watching this video are unfamiliar with the expression my sister used saying we are living in the last days, let me explain. But before I do, if you're not a spiritual person and you want to fast forward the video, it's okay. No judgment on my part. And if you're spiritual minded and you haven't yet read in your copy of the Bible the saying in the last days, lean in and prepare your spiritual ear to receive something important to reflect upon. My sister was referring to the Apostle Paul's words in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 through 5 and verse 13. Paul, in speaking about the future distinct or marked period of time coming up on this earth, said, in the last days, critical times will be here. Then Paul goes on to list 19 ungodly traits that would dominate human society during these critical times. Now, when I meditate upon the words critical times, I think about a time of crisis. Some Bible translations use the term perilous times or grievous times, meaning very severe or serious. Please take time to check out this inspired writing, proving true how these last days are leading to a large scale moral decay and collapse of social values. Let awareness give us power to change and not fear to immobilize our spiritual armor. Now, 
back to my video. I hope you enjoy. I'm listening. One Quad Love says, Hello, family. How y'all doing today? What you doing today? What is the outfit of the day? One Quad Love is sporting leopard today. Look at her leopard hat her leopard jersey and what do you have for a blanket stripes leopard kind of stripes and I am in basic black with a head rag because that's what I wanted to wear because I got pull on pull off clothes today Get home, pull off. Oh, I think people should know. Do you want to say anything else, Funk Quad? It, it's too hard. They can't <coughs> hear me back here. I already know how I go. She said it's too hard. You can't hear her in the back seat because the Get it right. <laughs> You're not answering me. <laughs> yeah, I've been tired, like I'm catching a cold, and I think it's just atmosphere. I think it's just the atmosphere is not anything to worry about. It's just me. So if my voice sounds different, that's why. I sat in a collision shop yesterday for two hours and all the while I was doing gmails and emails and deleting and all kind of stuff and so when I got out of there I felt exhausted even though it was a beautiful day out <coughs> so I made a modest dinner, really. I steamed some carrots. They were so good. Nod your head if you like the carrots yesterday, one quad. The people can hear, oh, they was the bomb. You buy these steamer bags. You only put like one teaspoon of water in it. Zip it and steam it in the microwave. And really, they were so good. And the best, best, best way to eat your carrots is a little cook to bring out the beta carotene. I don't know why that is. It's like pop, pop, fizz, fizz. I need some beta carotene. If you don't do that, they say it doesn't start the beta carotene. And another secret with carrots, 
is if you have an abscess on your teeth gums, you cut the carrot and just lay it on the abscess and it'll draw out the abscess. Did you know that one quad? Shake your head, yes or no? No, she didn't know that, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so first my sister was talking to me like I'm hard of hearing. Now she's talking to me like she's a school teacher. What's next? Stay tuned. But really, that's what you do. All right, enough jibber jabber. We're getting into the tie up, so I need to get off. Peace, love, and soul. You like that one part? Shake your head if you like that. She liked that. I like this game we're playing where one co op can only answer yes or no. Do you love your sister? All your sisters? All your sisters? Oh, she's a Christian. Do you love all your sisters, Cleo? That was a maybe. <laughs> see and I see him. I see him. I see the river of the ocean. It is. It looks like the rain made it worse. Worse, 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 worse. You know when they patch the streets. They patch it so lightly that the first rain already takes up the patches they did. Huh? Doesn't many holes on this freeway? A lot of holes. Wear and tear the vehicles and the rain. Plus, they don't close it enough to really give it a whole hole. Never in that car in front of us. It's so short you can't even see ahead. Like the car drives itself. You're right. Maybe it is. Maybe it's Elon Musk. Uh, AI, a human and a brain driving that car. Y'all tell us what you think of AI being implanted in a human brain. I have my ideals, but they come from the Frankenstein movie. And that's a negative for me. So, what are your thoughts on AI being implanted in a human brain? Now I see danger, danger, Will Robinson, danger. The other thing I see is, is taking away from God's creation as humans, as his highest creation. Because you still got to program the computer. The brain is already from the development of your DNA programmed, God programmed it. Now, there are some things you can do to deprogram what God did because he gave you a conscience, which is the ability to gauge right from wrong. Now, if you ignore that conscience, it becomes like a callus and it doesn't work for you. So, God set the brain in motion. He's not artificial intelligence. He is the intelligence. And yet, you want to put a computer in people's head. With, now, with the word not artificial in it at all. Not artificial, just intelligent. God is the intelligent designer. Now we're going to put artificial. And for all of those who don't like artificial coloring and all artificial flavoring and artificial sugar, now we're talking artificial intelligence. Always inferior. So give us your comments. One quad would like to see some of them. And I'm sure she can find a biblical scripture to help you on it. I just think, yeah, Frankenstein didn't always do what was right. So what can the computer possibly tell your brain to do under hypnosis or any other technique that you ordinarily would not do. And of course, his 
his, his subjects with spinal cord injury people that had new spinal cord injuries, of course, with the ability to communicate from the brain to the spinal cord so that they can walk. Well, that's a positive thing. One positive thing for a million negative things that people can do with it concerns me. So, give us your thoughts. Give us your thoughts and bear in mind that we're talking about cars that are intelligent, electric, and yet firefighters have some new equipment to put out these new kind of fires. Things that our Arsenio Hall would say, hmm, you guys see this left turning arrow? Yesterday when I went to the um, collision, people, the left turning arrow never worked. I waited for 10 lights and it didn't work. And it was a busy street with four lanes on each side and I was at a major intersection. So finally I had to run the light after people were blowing and blowing. And it was really dangerous to see the pattern of the light. So anyway, when I got to my destination, I called the police department in that station and told them that I had to run a light because the lights weren't working. So then they decided that they would call the public works department. And they asked me what light and what name. And I documented it in case they try to give me a ticket. Because if they give me a ticket, I want all Deborah's family to go to Judge Judy with me on that episode. Because I envision it's going all the way to Judge Judy if I get a ticket. Because I'm going to take one quad with me. And you guys, and you guys will be my eyewitness that I called the police because I ran a left arrow all to the danger of my life. Would have been tragic if I got hit by a car because the light didn't work. Huh, they one quad. Physical therapy here. Yeah, Pacific Physical Therapy. I think it's right here. <laughs> We're laughing because I wasn't recording. Out there talking I have to recording. take all these glasses off. I have two. Because I have to wear glasses for driving because my left eye. Now you made it sound like you, you was wearing more than one pair of glasses. You have to take all these glasses. I am. Off. I'm wearing two. So two. I am. One. Two. You thought you were talking about a pair of glasses. No, I'm wearing two lenses. One, two. That's two glasses. When I can see with That's this one eye. One pair of glasses and two lenses. Two pair of glasses. No, that's one pair of glasses. <laughs> it depends how you see it. This is one and this is two. And the reason I'm saying that is because I have 20 20 mono vision in this eye, but I don't have mono vision in this eye. In fact, I can't see far, so I'm nearsighted, so that makes for a problem. Let me hurry and get this ramp down so nobody don't get in your way. Because it looked like he's trying to, yep. Yeah. He's supposed to be parking there, I think. No. Got a thing up. Got a thing up. You can get out. I gotta take this ramp down. People are trying to park in there. One quad gotta get out. All right, y'all. You can see beautiful one quad as she get out. All right, y'all, wish me well inside the doctor. You're talking. You're talking. Because I don't like talking when we're on the highway because you can't hear me back here when a car's running on the highway. But I want to decipher what you say because I'm a great at deciphering. And I don't trust that. <laughs> um, wow. You don't trust in law? Is that a spider web hanging right there? Or is something caught on your door? Where? Oh, above the door right here. Where? It's hanging right there on the fence. That's a mosquito. 
Run, please. Get him. I don't want that mosquito landing on me. Uh oh. We got a problem. We got a mosquito. He just hanging got there. Got an albino mosquito. He just hanging there for me to come out and hit. So. <laughs> He, he I saved me. one quad's life with a paper bag. Oh my I hit, I hit that bug with a paper bag. Do you want this as a memorial? Absolutely not. It's a good thing I got trash back here. It was an albino mosquito. Maybe he could take your blood for you. I gotta move that seat up back there. Never, don't move yet. I need you to get out pull somebody try to get in this other part. Okay. You ready? No, but I'm getting. Deborah, look at the beautiful tree. You see why I like trees? I could write a whole story on that tree. <laughs> it's gonna be freezing tomorrow. It's gonna be freezing tomorrow. That's why I say you can't go outside in the winter. Hold on, hold on, I'm getting the keys. You can't go outside in the winter. There's a pine cone. Is it free? You can't go out in the winter. Yeah. I don't know. They dream when me let your mind explode. to the people. Hi everybody. Look at one quad. Don't she look cute, y'all? She thinks she don't look cute. Watch her look so cute. That's good. That's perfect. You want to say anything? You want to say anything else to the people before we go? Like. Comment, oh. share, subscribe. <laughs> I was still thinking about my doctor's appointment. I knew I had healed you yesterday. No, you did. I did. I said, what did I say this morning? You said a lot of things. <laughs> I know, but I said, you're not coughing. We just made this appointment to cancel it. That's how it always goes. When, you, when you're sick and then you make a doctor's appointment, all of a sudden you feel better. You should just make 14 of them. Make 14 doctors appointments. Some months you make two, some months you make one. Then, if you get sick, you cancel one of the two 
in case you get better. If you don't get better, then you have that other one. So if you make them in advance, then you know you're gonna get well. 12 months in a year. Your logic. That makes sense to me. Two that months, you make two. Your logic. That doesn't make any sense to me. I think it makes a lot of sense. What happened when you made this appointment yesterday? I started feeling better today. There you go. Point. But I didn't realize at the tail end of my sickness. I realized so I you were at the worse. tail end because you had two days no coughing, then one day a beginning coughing, then two days no coughing, then another day. And then you start itching like you were going to get some money. That told me you were going to get well. Like money. Yes, she was. Was your hand itching? I'm not even talking about this. <laughs> well, you you know I'm telling the truth. Can you just close the door so I can get warm? I am going to, but first we have to say hi to the people. We going across the street for lab work now. Yes, we are. You want to just walk over there? <laughs> you mean ride my chair over there? Yeah. It's cold. Yeah. It's I'll... already freezing. Why well, I want to do that? You just you just away. go real fast. No. Can you just close the door so I can get warm? Would y'all tell my sister to close the door so I can get warm and go get my lab work? All the haters will probably tell me to close the door, but all the good people would say, no, they were enjoying your smile and conversation and the fact that I healed you. They're, they're happy that I healed you. You did not heal me. Who healed you? My medicine. <laughs> all right. We'll see you guys later on the way home. We're not going to vlog going to the lab because some of you are scrimmish. You don't even know how to look at a lab test. Are you squirmish one quad? I just hate the needles because they can never get me on the first stick. You want me to do it? We should have left that mosquito in here. He could have got your blood. I could have took the mosquito and gave it to them and said, put it in the valve. I'd rather take the, Never mind. Mm -hmm. Mosquitoes, uh, no. what do mosquitoes do? What if he had West Nile? Then you probably have it. Look at you get in the car. Get in the get car. Close the car door so I can get warm. Do you know how to scream? <laughs> Go ahead and scream at me. So the people can, will I close the door? Okay. Thank you. No, you didn't wait, 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 wait. You didn't put me, you didn't, you didn't tie me down. You told me to close the door. Seat belt. I don't want to get fired. Come oh, no, please. <laughs> Stop. You play way too much. I closed the door. I need to get my seatbelt on. You want me to open the door? Please. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, she's begging Come me on. to open the door. Oh, that is too funny. You know what uh. You forgot to fuck me down. No, I was doing what you said. I don't want to get... frustrating me, so you want me to tell you to close the door. I don't want to get fired. Then I'll be rolling all around in the car. Ready, roll? Ready. Let's roll, Mama. While I'm on the way to the lab, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. I've been on YouTube for three years now and been making videos, but because I'm Disabled and my sister who takes care of me has a muscle disease and I love her so much for doing that and taking care of me as well as my nephew who has ADD and autism and he doesn't do well with changes he helps every opportunity he can I'm not able to put out a lot of videos like every week like I would desire to but because I do my own editing and everything and my sister does my filming for me but because I don't fit into YouTube's you algorithms go. because of my frequency of not being able to put out a lot of videos, um, I don't get a lot of subscribers. I've been here on three years and I think I have like 250 something subscribers now. But I just wanted to thank you so much because even if I only had, my sister reminded me that even if I only had five subscribers, 
that's five people's hearts I have touched. So I, I appreciate everyone who has taken the time to subscribe to my channel because you didn't have to. And then I wanted to let everyone know that who have given me a shout out. So many special hearted people have given me shout outs. I appreciate it so, so very much. And though I may never blow up on YouTube, though I may never be a huge content creator, I am so thankful for you all. I appreciate you and you know who you are. Thank you so much. And may you have an amazing journey on your YouTube channels. Bye. I went and picked up your peel already from the pharmacy. Prom, not taking up my left big old peel. This is your peel. That is not the peel the doctor gave me. It is. A, I would have to be. A, I'd have to be a dinosaur. Why to swallow. is it rolling? I have to be a dinosaur to swallow a peel like that. Where you get that from? It's a peel. Well, I would have to be a dinosaur to. Oh, you take get that away from. <laughs> get that away from my mouth. Take this meal. No, I'm not. Do you want to get well? Not that much. Okay, pull the top off. No, I'm not. Would you stop playing? Okay. You're ridiculous. Hold this camera. No. Hold it. You're ridiculous. Hold it. Right there. Can you see me? I can't yeah. see your face. Now I can't. Wait, you just got to bend down a little more. Like that. Oh, you need to quit. <laughs> You're ridiculous. You are ridiculous. I'm not I was going to give you a... It right. I can't even see you at all now. My arm's going down. That's okay. It's heavy. It's right there, Flew. Where? On the floor, right there. Oh. Look at what there's the peel. She dropped her medication. That is not my medication. Can you imagine a world with no trees? No. That's our oxygen. And they're so pretty. When I walked, I took pictures of about a hundred trees. Hmm. A couple weeks ago. shining so I flipped the camera so y'all can look at one quad she's coughing now that we're out the doctor she didn't like my cure she was singing that song if there's a cure for this I don't want it I don't want it think about going to the doctor all the time you want to go back to the doctor and let the doctor know you're coughing? No. <laughs> this is like m and &Ms. You can't eat one. I almost brought my pretzel. People don't understand that it's not warm enough for you outside. You have an inside cold that you can't get rid of. So, it looks warm in the car, but as soon as you get a little wind, 
to your body, right? You get cold. Why are you doing that? It's not cold for you. You get stiff and cold, right? I don't want to yeah, cheat. Yeah, because my body doesn't regulate temperatures right. Yeah. If it's too hot or too cold, I don't have a full foot cup. I want quad. You're rolling. You're rolling. These shades are it's supposed to get dark in the sun. They ain't getting dark. But guess what? My new shades came from the doctor yesterday. The same shape as all? Yeah, I bought those cat shades again. Yeah, those don't get really dark. No, I told them. They, they, they read did something. They go, yeah, they get dark. They get dark inside the office, but the sun is in direct. I think the sun is over yonder. It's going to straight on, but it's messing with the camera, so. Wow. They're transitions and progressive lenses. The better to see you with, Quad. Dad will act like he wanted to go with us today. See, Daddy wanted to go with you. Shadow was saying, not nah, you leaving me too. You always in the bed. It must be serious. When you go, I usually go. He wanted to go. Yeah, he did. He wanted to go with you. He was like, no, no. He was at the door. No. No. But he never pushes on the side of your chair. No, he doesn't. But he, he just like said, he respects the chair to the he does, but he just wanted to go. Kind of they say me. these coughs can last for a month or more. But the contagious stage should be over in two weeks. Yeah, I figured you weren't contagious. You notice I ain't been wearing no mask around you. Yeah, but I still feel bad coughing. Well, you I will because... Put, I still cover up and everything when I'm coughing. Because people call you cootie lady. Yeah. And everybody's scared. Every time somebody coughs, is it COVID? Is it COVID? Yeah, may not be COVID. It's just to sneeze or cough in public anymore. Yeah. But we endured COVID, cattle cough from the dog, and a month of coughing from quad. And they doctor said she got maybe two more weeks of coughing. That's a long time to have a cough. Disease is just like, like they used to be anymore. What do you do when you do a thumbnail? Yeah. If you want me to put that down as a thumbnail. Yeah. With your mouth twisted like that. Yeah. You really want me to show you like that? Mm -hmm. Y'all hear her right, family out there and friends. My sister want me to use that crooked face of hers as a thumbnail. Yeah. We'll see if I'm going to use it or not. I might have more respect for you than to use it. Why don't you do a crooked face, too? Because I'm not silly like Don't you want sympathy so your channel will grow? No. My sister got hit in the jaw with a water bottle. You need to quit it. What, uh, what kind of water bottle? Kroger. 
What was it guy that was a water bottle? And so why are we playing like this? For a thumbnail. I'm not gonna put that thumbnail up like that. Why? You really challenging me to really do it? Challenge. You giving me permission. Everybody hearing you. Everybody hear me. I'm an actor. They don't know that I try to be all that can be. I'm an actor. I'm acting like I got hit in the jaw and I just had jaw surgery. Right back here. Did I have jaw surgery, Quad? No. But do I sound like I had jaw therapy? No, you sound like a drunk. You you want me to sound like a drunk? You already do. A better drunk. <laughs> I don't know about better. Like the actual normal drunk person. Don't you know actors have to sound like drunks and all kind of people? So do you want me to really show you my acting career? Yeah, go ahead. Show everybody your acting career as a drunk. <laughs> oh, you know, right? <laughs> was that good? Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay. That's so, that's what I do. I try to make one quad laugh. So, she knows I'm an actor. What she doesn't know is when I'm by myself, I sneak mini Oreo cookies. You didn't offer me none of those. You just offered me those old peanut butter things. Didn't I say when I'm by myself, I sneak these? You're not with me when I eat these. Oh, it's on purpose. It's on purpose. Okay. I don't want you to do anything wrong, so I do all the wrong when I'm away from you. And look at this. It's 100% sustainable source cocoa. How many calories in that whole thing? You eat that whole thing? I eat the whole thing. How many calories? 140. For what? So how many servings? Per the amount of servings on here. <laughs> and what is that? Five. Why would it be five servings? Are you Three. saying I ate five times the amount of food as you eat? I'm guessing. Just because you, you weigh all your food? I'm guessing because you won't tell me. Can't you spot what it says? Up my eyes. Can I see that that quick? You want this as a thumbnail? Yeah. Okay, I'll take that. You're cheating cookies when you're alone driving in the car yeah you, you know what i got these at walmart for one dollar and 12 cent oh, okay. so when my sugar gets low then i have these in the car with me i think i ate them all but it's a great sustainable stack snack that's what it says a hundred percent can you see it you know how to flip this sign, right? A hundred percent sustainable Are you too snack. Close to the camera? I can't tell if it's focused or not. It's focused. All right. All right, people. Let me get Quad out the car. She's been in the chair too long, against doctor's orders. <laughs> you know what? The doctors say only be in the chair two hours. Then they make your appointment forty-five minutes away. Then they make you sit in the waiting room 20 minutes. Then they wait 20 minutes to come in. Then they talk to you because they hire retired doctors with nothing to do. And they're lonely. And they're lonely. And these retired doctors keep you in the room an hour. Then you get back in the car. Then you go to the lab. And then you drive back home another 45 minutes. And voila, you've been in the chair four hours against doctor's orders. Don't you feel bad that you disobeyed? Your doctor disobeyed? Look, I can't even get the word out. You still acting drunk? No, that was acting myasthenia gravis diseased. Ah. 
Now, don't make fun of me because I have muscle disease quad. So, back to the question. So, you ought to take the heat off of you, but I got your number. Do you feel bad that you disobeyed your doctor by staying in the chair over two hours? Because you have been in this chair four plus hours. No, it don't I, matter I how many cents. I disobey my doctor because an emergency situation came up. What emergency? You're not coughing. I was yesterday. Did But you're not today. The doctor said your lungs are free. The doctor said, ha ha, the joke's on you. She didn't. She said I was at the tail end of my coughing, so that's what was happened yesterday. Uh -huh. It was just more major. I didn't know that. I told you. We're back to I told you. I cured you. I told you this morning. No way. Huh. You're not coughing. Do you still want to go to the doctor? And what did you say? Yes, and I'm glad I did. You glad you went to see the retired doctor that stayed in the room with you one hour and made you disobey doctor's orders? Well, I got some information that I didn't know about. Oh. I wouldn't have got that over the phone. Yeah, and he I had can, to see me. And I can add that to my doctor thesis. That's education for me. Every time I go to the doctor, I get a new certificate <laughs> of doctor readiness. So now I'm more of a doctor now that I've learned from the retired doctor. So you're right. We should make lemonade out of lemons. There you go. Yeah, so I like it. It's not lemonade out of lemons. Lemons out of lemonade. Lemonade out of lemons. Are you dyslexic? Why would you say lemonade? Make lemonade out of lemons. And you said no, make lemons out of, out of lemonade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I've just okay. diagnosed you with dyslexia. Either way, you is making lemonade out of lemons. So it's still correct. But that's what I said at first. Lemonade out of lemons. And you said no. Lemons out of lemonade. You, both of them is right. You can no. make lemons. No. You can't make lemons out of lemonade? You make lemonade <laughs> this is out you of lemons. You can make lemons. lemons into lemonade. Lemons into lemonade. Okay, so now we're using the past particle into. Yeah, I forgot that part. Okay, so how long have you been dyslexic? I've never been dyslexic. Do you have trouble comprehending? No, I don't have trouble comprehending. <laughs> and you can't even say the word. I can't even get the word out. <laughs> comprehending. <laughs> comprehending. <laughs> Do you? No. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I can help you. I'm not ashamed. Do you often have to read the paragraphs over and over? before you can get a clear and direct answer. No, I'm not gonna take a psychological test. In your test own words. You. I'm not taking a psychological test. I mean you just told me something so vital for why sometimes we have these slight communication problems. Cause I'm saying it forward but you're hearing it backwards. No comment? No. It's okay. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. God made you this way. Stop trying to make me into something I'm not. You need to quit. You're making me into something that I'm not. Don't be ashamed. I think it's time for us to tell the friends and family goodbye. Yeah, she's probably getting hungry. But anyway, we enjoyed riding with you. Yes, it's been so did. long since we've been on the road. And I got to talk trash talk with quad in the car you know she's so easy to irritate because she doesn't scream That's so quick. <laughs> anywho thank you all for watching I'm sure do appreciate it don't forget thumbs up like share subscribe and, and subscribing is free it don't cost you anything but your time and as a bonus you get Miss Cleo. You get the shenanigans of my sister. And I got a lot in my head. Whoa, yes, she do. 
Bye. Bye. <laughs>